Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. We are getting very close to the top of Spork Mountain, and for some reason the mouse wouldn't work until just now. So yeah, we're getting close to uh, finishing things up here in Jellyfish Field. Opening presents. And, uh, is there anything over here? Nope, just a uh, bunch of tiki's leading to nowhere. So anyway... So yeah, we got ourselves a couple more golden spatulas, one of them thanks to Mrs. Puff. And now we can carry on forward and read another sign. This is a shh tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. To sneak, move the left analog stick gently or press the... Uh, what is that? The shift key? Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. So I sneak around with the ship. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, sneak up to it like that, and then destroy it. Yeah, because if I walk up to it at normal speed, they disappear. But if I sneak up to it, I can jump on top of it and destroy it. Ow, you little! Oh. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to smack ya. Oh, that that robot. I gotta get myself shines. this pair of underwear. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Yeah, I cannot wait until I get myself a controller so I can play this game much better. Yeah, the... come on, I smacked him again. Don't be like that game. Anyway. Yeah, I just recently bought myself a, a PS2 controller for my Here computer. I a new sponge. So I can play this game uh, the way I did back then. And, uh, hopefully it will make a huge difference. I'm sure it will, because of the fact that, like I said, I'm used to playing a game like this on, uh, on the PlayStation 2. So yeah, I ordered myself... Yeah, the horror in... Ow. Oh, what, what hit me? Come on. Like, he didn't even fire a shot and I still got hit. Or maybe because I walked right into him. I don't know. Ah! That's not gone well. You've just met the Spongeinator. Yeah. Fresh oh. like a spring breeze. And there's a teleport box right here. And where is the other teleport box? I guess we shall find out eventually. I feel like a new sponge. So yeah, as soon as I get the uh, new PS2 controller for my computer, I'm going to use it for, uh... Nobody saw that. Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to have the new PS2 controller plugged in once I uh, get it. However, there is one little issue with this uh, PS2 controller I'm getting. Um, it is being shipped from China. Yeah, so it's going to be a while before I can even use it for this game. Uh, there's another sign right here. This is a stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by thunder tikis. Like so. Like a spring breeze. So yeah, not only is it going to take a while for me to uh, use this new PS2 controller because of the fact that it's being shipped all the way from China, but also because of the fact that we have to make sure that it is 100% clean and disinfected. I did not. I did not order the triple hammer special. Anyway, let's click on the object to open up the gate. And we got some parkouring to do. And there are some platforms that are teeter totter ish. And there's a throw fruit here for Patrick, but I'm not playing with Patrick now. SpongeBob is uh, taking a wheel here. Ow. How dare you! Oh, that didn't work like I hoped.
Oh, watch out. Ooh, triple kill. Nice. Watch out for the hammers. Destroy the Duplicatortron. And ow. Do not smack me. Okay. I need some underwear right now. I don't see any nearby, though. Other one right there, but... It's on the other side of that, uh... Oh, here's one right here. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, I see one of Patrick's socks right there. Let's go ahead and get it. Yikes! Okay, I made it. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Oh, I'm sure he will. Matter of fact, I got enough to get a golden spatula from him once I, I head back. Opening presents. Once I head back to Bikini Bottom. I feel like a new sponge. I'm sure you do. Tartar sauce. The horror. You already used that line. Ow. Ah! Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I opened up that teleport box. I can just simply go back to uh, the one down here and teleport. Oh, but first. Fresh like a spring breeze. There we go. See? Now I'm back. Now, how the heck am I supposed to get that darn thing? I suppose that's how, although I didn't quite kill him, but I did get him out of the way. I feel like a new sponge. All right. It shines. Let's see. Is there anything else that I can talk about? Not really. Haven't really been able to come up with uh, much to talk about for this video, unfortunately. Although I will uh, clarify that we will be going up against our first uh, boss of the game, and I'm pretty sure you guys can guess who that boss is going to be if I can reach him without falling every time I take a step up a mountain or get hit by a robot. Alright, back to the teleport box we go. And I just realized I forgot to put my timer up. I forgot to put my phone up in front of me and keep track of how long I've been recording, but I did, uh, make an objective here to, uh, be able to show off the rest of Jellyfish Fields here. Oh, come on! Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna edit this part out. There we go. Finally. It took long enough. I don't recall that rickety bridge being so finicky in the original game. Anyway, oh, I see a bus stop up ahead. I guess that's in case I play as Patrick for uh, this part, but I am not. Also, sea urchins. <laughs> anyway, SpongeBob can jump up walls when the symbol appears. Jump against the side wall and press space to jump again. Oh, I totally forgot about this. I thought this was only in the, uh, the, g the game of the movie. There we go. Tar -tar sauce. How many times are you going to re be repeating lines, SpongeBob? It's getting a bit crazy. It's getting a bit annoying. There we go. Oh, and I grabbed the golden spatula while I fought with the uh, Tartar Bot. Oh, oh, wow. I don't know if you guys heard that, it just popped my neck right there. But anyway, off to Spork Mountain we go! Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Yep, we're getting very close to our first boss battle of the game, folks. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle King Jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> you sure don't you sure don't sound like, like it. A new sponge. But anyway, here we go guys. 
it's time for battle. And there's King Jellyfish himself, enjoying a nice relaxing shower at the top of Fork Mountain. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? Slap him, the game says. Yep, gotta wait for him to drop right down. Shoot off his electricity and smack. Slap him again. Yeah, we gotta smack him three times to win the battle. And of course, in between each slap, he's gonna be spawning some smaller jellyfish to get in the way. Take that! And thankfully, the curtain goes transparent whenever I walk near it, so I can see the arena. Finishing slap! And now he's spawning in the blue jellyfish, which are faster and they stain more quickly. I don't recall the original game having a tutorial like this. And there we go. And there we go. First boss battle of the game is finished, and we now got the jelly from King Jellyfish. So now all that's left is to return to Squidward and present him the jelly. And now, time to go for another slide. Yay! I love opening presents. Oh! Pretty. Purple shiny object. Did I get it? Not sure if I did. Ow. And by the way, yeah, SpongeBob is sliding on his tongue. Just like in uh, the episode Pre-Hibernation Week, where he and Sandy were performing all these uh, dangerous activities before she went into hibernation. And I think I might have passed up on a sock. There we go. Oh, and there's a golden special up there. And I somehow forgot to reopen the... Uh, teleport box on the top of the slide. Oh, crap. Oh, and here's Larry. Hey, Larry. Hey there. It looks like you'll have to make a huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Cowabunga! Wow. That's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. Yeah, but the problem is... <laughs> I, uh, I can't teleport back up. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Um, can't I just, uh, teleport to where the, uh... Yeah! I can just take the taxi there, back up to the top, can't I? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I just remember like a spring breeze. reading something about that, uh, about that in the, uh, tutorial. Now, the problem is, I have no idea where the heck the teleport box is. Ah, here it is. Why is it all the way over here? Anyway, let's go ahead and go down that slide again and get that golden spatula and see if there is another one of Patrick's socks to get. I mean, I see a... Ow. Branching path. I just don't know how to get to it. Oh well. I'll come back for the sock later, but for right now, let's get the golden spatula. There we go. Spatula Seeker! Achievement unlocked, and I got an achievement for defeating King Jellyfish as well, called Jellyfish Jam. And that is what I'll be naming this video. In fact, all the videos in this Let's Play are going to be named after Spongebob episodes. 
See, no problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Yeah, pretty much. Um. So yeah, we got King Jellyfish Joey now, so let's go ahead and take the trampoline back to the beginning of Jellyfish Field. There you go, Squidward. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Yeah, that'll do. Jellyfishing! Hooray! Another treatment unlocked. And we got Golden Spatula at number 11. This is why I don't go outside. Ever. Alright, well, we're pretty much all done with Jellyfish Fields for now. I mean, we gotta come back here to get some more of, uh... To get some more Patrick socks. I missed, uh, six of them. One of them I can't get to because of the fact that I need the, uh, Bubble Bowl move in order to get to it. But I did get all of the Golden Spatulas, which is good. So, back to Bikini Bottom we go. And there's nobody driving the taxi! It's empty! I saw that game. You can't fool me. That taxi cab is driving by itself. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and give 10 socks to Patrick and get another golden spatula from him. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Is that a wormy reference? Anyway, Golden Bachelor at number 12. And I think we can pay some shiny object to Mr. Krabs and get some Golden Spatula from him, too. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a Golden Spatula? 3,000, and I think I have enough. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Yep, there we go. And in fact, I think I might even be able to trade him for another one. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Okay, maybe not. I need 6,000. Okay, fair enough. Well, we're all done with Jellyfish Field, and we got more than enough golden spatula to unlock the next location over here. And that being Downtown Bikini Bottom. And that is where we'll be heading in the next video of this Let's Play of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Uh, rehydrated? Yeah. Anyway, take care, everyone. I'll see you next time.